NBA playoffs are almost completely set as we have the final play-in games on Friday night. Welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports. My name is Harrison Graham. Let's get you caught up on everything and take a look at these upcoming series matchups plus the final play-in games. But before we do all of that, don't miss out. Subscribe to the channel as we are your hub for NBA playoff coverage throughout the 2024 postseason. Hit that subscribe button. We'll have in injury updates, Siri pre some series previews perhaps, maybe some watch parties. We for sure will later on in the playoffs, conference finals, and NBA finals. Uh, but if we get more subscribers, might do some earlier watch parties as well. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Chat Sports is your home for NBA playoff coverage. All right, this is where things sit right now as obviously this is how things uh, went going into the postseason. The Atlanta Hawks are now out in the Eastern Conference. Uh, the Philadelphia 76ers are in, uh, so they are going to be playing the second-seeded New York Knicks. We'll talk about that a little bit more, which means the Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat uh, are the last play-in game in the Eastern Conference to determine who will play the Boston Celtics in the 1-8 matchup. Now, an interesting tidbit here. Jimmy Butler suffered an injury last night, a hamstring injury, came back and played the rest of the game, but Sham Sharanya last night and this morning reports that he's likely going to miss multiple weeks now, which means even if it's shorter than that, his chances of playing on Friday night against Chicago are slim to none. I would say it's less than 5% chance, uh, and I think we'll find out later today he's officially going to be out. Uh, I, by the way, missed book. Not a hamstring, a MRI. Zion has a hamstring injury. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, knee injury uh, doesn't look good. MCL for Jimmy Butler. Don't know the extent of it, but he's going to miss some time. I'm sure an MRI is taking place like I mentioned. Uh, so we'll see who the Celtics get. They're either going to get a Miami Heat team with a Jimmy Butler that may not even be available or a Chicago Bulls team that is below 500. So that's big advantage Boston game one of that series gets going on Sunday you look at the rest of the schedule there uh, if it were to go all the way to game seven game two on Wednesday game three on Saturday if you're a Celtics fan and an NBA fan thir no Thursday Friday game so you can enjoy the first two days of the N uh, NFL draft uh, before game three on Saturday so Boston sitting in a pretty position uh, regardless of who they play in the first round now, this first-round matchup is set as the New York Knicks will face the Philadelphia 76ers. Again, Philly taking down Miami last night in a dramatic 105-104 to victory. Miami had a big halftime lead, I think, by 12 points, up six heading into the fourth, and the Sixers had a big fourth quarter, a good game from Nick Batum to give them 20 points. Joel Embiid played well down the stretch, although he did not look that great to me health-wise and just how he was moving around, so... That is something to monitor, but a tricky matchup for the Knicks for a team that earned the two seed to have to go up against Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid. Again, we'll see how effective Embiid is as he's been making his way back from that injury. But that series gets started on Saturday, 6 Eastern time, game two on Monday. And then unfortunately, game three is right smack dab in the middle of the first day of the NFL draft. Uh, if you're a Knicks or Sixers fan, we, ha we do have channels for both of those. We're at least going to go live on our Knicks channel, probably not on Sixers for Game 3, but uh, keep that in mind as we want to have you guys covered as much as possible. The 3-6 matchup in the East, it, which we've known, is the Indiana Pacers against the Milwaukee Bucks Game 1 this Sunday at 7 o'clock Eastern uh, out in Milwaukee. Game 2 will be Tuesday, then you got a nice... Day, extra day off before Game 3 on Friday and Game 4 on Sunday. Uh, you see the rest of the schedule if it were to go 5, 6, or 7 games. Um, Giannis' status, kind of unknown at this point in time, so an opportunity for Indiana to perhaps pull off the upset as the underseeded team. 4-5 matchup, an interesting one. Uh, both these teams uh, kind of trending in different directions for the future. The Orlando Magic, one of the surprises of the NBA this year. Young, up-and-coming team. They earned the five seed. Cleveland Cavaliers, many people believe Donovan Mitchell will get traded this offseason unless they go on a deep run. So they need to handle business here if they want to keep this court together long-term. This thing gets started on Saturday, uh, 1 o'clock Eastern time. Game two uh, would be on Monday. 
night, game three Thursday, game four Saturday, uh, and then so on and so forth. This is an interesting one because this Cavs team the last two years has been very good in the regular season, but lost in the first round of the playoffs last year to the Knicks. You would think a, a, a going up against a younger Magic team is a favorable matchup, but uh, Orlando doesn't have a ton to lose as they're ahead of schedule. So a lot of pressure on the Cleveland Cavaliers in this matchup. What is your favorite first round matchup in the East or West? Doesn't really matter. Favorite first round matchup, let us know in the comment section below. If Joel Embiid is healthy, I think that Nick Sixers series could be very, very good. Not, you know, an ideal matchup for New York considering they are the two seed, but uh, we'll see what happens there. So I think that's uh, a pretty good one. Uh, coming up next, we're going to get – uh, into the Western Conference, break that all down, take a look at the final play-in game and what these other matchups are at this point in time. But before we do that, we got to tell you about our sponsor, Prize Picks. The action on the floor is heating up in April as the playoffs are here. By the way, the ice is heating up as well uh, as uh, the NHL playoffs are set to get underway. And get in on all of the important action at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS to create an account with Prize Picks and uh, get that deposit match up to $100. They've got a deal right now. Nikola Jokic, more or less than half a point for game one of the Nuggets. That's an easy gimme to start. You take the more there, and all you need to do is pair it with at least one more player from another team in any sport. Two to six player entries. I got Tobias Harris, less than 13 and a half points. He was really bad last night for Philadelphia. I think you're going to see more Nick Batum there. And then I took Tyrese Maxey on the more a uh, little goblin pick to lower the stat projection because Maxie's going to uh, have to score a lot, especially if Joel Embiid is uh, ineffective at times. That one is 10 to win just under 50 there. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. You can win up to 100 times your money on certain entries right now. So go browse, go check it out, wet the beak a little bit. That code CLNS, again, gets you that extra money up to 100 bucks that they'll match for you. So go check that out. Choose more, choose less. Prize pick, stat projections, it's very easy. Daily Fantasy made easy. Uh, sign up in less than 90 seconds, create entries in less than 60 seconds, and uh, go have some fun. That's what prize picks is all about. Okay, uh, Western Conference now. Warriors pff, out. Uh, the Pelicans uh, and the uh, Kings will be in the last game here as the Lakers took down New Orleans. They are the seventh seed. We'll get to uh, them here in just a second. So the final West playing game is the nine seed. Sacramento against the seven seed New Orleans Pelicans as uh, the winner of this game will earn the eight seed in the Western Conference. Again, uh, to go up against the Thunder, by the way. Again, side note, Zion Williamson to be reevaluated in two weeks. I mean, it's, it's really a shame there because he was having a career game uh, with 40 points, and then with three minutes left, he tweaks the hamstring, and you could see the emotion, the frustration there, and I'm sure Pelicans fans are frustrated as well. But still an opportunity to get into the playoffs with the win tonight against Sacramento. Not going to be easy without Zion, but uh, in one game, you got a shot. Uh, if you're the Thunder, I mean, it, I'd be curious to know within that building who they would rather play, considering Zion may not even play in this series. I think you'd have to say the Pelicans is who they would prefer. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. We do know game one is on Sunday night, uh, the late game there at Oklahoma City. Game two would be Wednesday, and then so on and so forth. So great year for the Thunder, under earning that number one seed. Shea Gilgis-Alexander, a true MVP candidate. Uh, we'll see who ends up winning MVP. Probably going to be Nikola Jokic as uh, they got the number two seed, the defending champion Denver Nuggets. They take on the Los Angeles Lakers in a high-octane first-round matchup, a uh, rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals as uh, the Nuggets swept them last year. Most of the games were close, though. I think three of the four came down to the, to the wire there. So the Nuggets have kind of had the Lakers' number, but there's been a lot of close games here. So we'll see if L.A. catching them earlier in the playoffs uh, gives them a better chance. I think it does give them a better shot just because I remember LeBron being a little worn out in that series last year as he's obviously gotten older here. So maybe catching them early gives them a better chance. I would still lean Denver here. Game one getting going on Saturday. Uh, and then uh, game two on Monday and so on and so forth. Should be an interesting series to see how that one plays out. The 6-3 matchup, which we've known, is Phoenix and Minnesota. Game one on Saturday, 3.30 Eastern. And this one's fascinating to me because I'm not sure I'm buying either of these teams just yet to be a true deep threat in the Western Conference. I mean, both these teams have star power. Phoenix, obviously, with Kevin Durant, 
uh, Bradley Beal and Devin Booker, but Beal's kind of, you know, he hasn't fit in that well. Um, and then with Minnesota, does the Twin Towers work? Carl Anthony Towns getting back. They obviously had a great regular season. Anthony Edwards has been awesome, but they don't really have postseason experience. So it's going to be interesting. Things get going on Saturday, 3.30 Eastern there at the Target Center in Minnesota. Uh, a lot of pressure on both these teams. I mean, both these teams have made major investments the last couple of off seasons to be big-time contenders. So we'll see what happens there uh, in the 3-6 matchup again. Game one Saturday, game two Tuesday, and then – Things shift to Phoenix for Game 3 on Friday night. And then perhaps the most interesting matchup in the West in Round 1 is Dallas and the L.A. Clippers. Third time these two teams are duking it out in the postseason. The Clippers won the first two series in six games. That was in the bubble back in 2020. Seven games the year after that. Now a couple of years later, uh, they reunite in the postseason. Kyrie Irving in the fold this time for Dallas. Kawhi Leonard has been banged up with... Knee inflammation, Ty Lue says he expects him to play game one on Sunday. We'll have to wait and see if you're a Mavericks fan. We'll be live on Sunday for that game, youtube.com slash Mavs TV. But, look, these teams do not like each other. They've had some good battles the last couple of years. Should be a fun series that I expect to go six or seven games. Game one, again, on Sunday. Game two, Tuesday. Then the series shifts to Dallas on Friday night, and we go from there. All right. Which Western Conference matchup will go the most games? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to say Phoenix, Minnesota. I think that one goes at least six, if not seven. I think that'll be a back and forth. Both those teams uh, are a bit inconsistent, especially Phoenix, but they've got the firepower. Should be fun to see how that one stacks up in the first round. All right, there you have it. That's how the playoff picture sits with the final playing game set for Friday night. Keep it locked in here. Subscribe to Chat Sports. My name is Harrison Graham. We'll see you guys next time.